Hello. Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, it looks like we have you scheduled for just a thorough general physical checkup. Is that correct? All right. Well, I'm Dr. Green, and I'm going to be doing your checkup for you. We're going to be going over a whole bunch of stuff today. Um, checking your vitals. I'm going to be doing some sensory tests. Uh, checking your nose, your face your lymphatic system. Uh, we're going to do some eye and ear exams. I'll be checking your spinal alignment, a whole bunch of stuff. So I am going to go ahead and grab my gloves. I'm going to glove up. Uh, if you can wait there just a moment, I'll be right back and we will begin with this very thorough exam. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hey y'all, it's JB. If you've heard of Skillshare, you probably know that they offer thousands of great classes for developing all sorts of skills and hobbies. Things like digital art, film and video, crafting, making music. What a lot of people don't know is that Skillshare also offers hundreds of career-focused classes as well. Classes for people who are looking to expand their creative side hustle into a full-time career, as well as classes for people like me who've been creating their own career for years but who still have a lot to learn about making the most of it. Being your own boss in a creative job can be amazing, but you have to be good at a lot of different things and not all of them come easily. That's why I was excited to check out Productivity for Creators by Ali Abdel. I struggle a lot with organizing my workflow. Right away within the first three lessons of Ali's class, he helped me remember that productivity isn't just about focusing on doing the right tasks. It's about focusing on the right aspects of the work itself and what makes it worth doing. Things like actually having fun with it and making an impact. Whether you want to expand what's possible in your current career, or whether you're looking to start fresh and design the career that's right for you, or whether you're like me and one of your favorite hobbies is collecting new hobbies, Skillshare has so much to offer. And right now, you have an opportunity to try out and explore the full Skillshare class library completely for free for a full month. The first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a free one-month trial of Skillshare. It's a great opportunity to just check out what Skillshare has to offer. Plus, each of your signups helps support this channel, so thank you so much to those of you who do. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring. Alright. Oh, we are going to go ahead and start just by taking your temperature, pretty easy. Okay, I'm just placing a probe cover, clean probe cover onto the thermometer. Um, as you might expect, this physical exam is gonna involve some multiple instances of me needing to gently touch or palpate different parts of your body. Is that all right? Okay. So, first thing, I'm going to take this ear thermometer. I'm going to gently place it into your ear. You'll hear a little beep. I'll check your temperature. And with a lot of these things we're going to be doing today, I do like to do them on both sides. All right? Great. Stay right there. So you're going to feel the tip of the thermometer entering your ear right here. Okay, and... Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and do the other side. Just going to lean in here and once again going to feel the thermometer entering your ear canal right here. And... Okay, we're off to a great start. I'm going to take a couple notes real quick.
Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take your pulse. I like to do it on the neck. So you're gonna feel me placing my fingers gently on the side of your neck, right here. I'm gonna hold it there for a few moments, okay? So just placing it right there, okay? blood pressure next. I'll be taking a blood pressure cuff. Got it right over here. I'll show you. I'm going to be taking this cuff here and I'm going to wrap it around your arm. I will inflate the cuff. Uh, it's going to feel quite snug on your arm. It shouldn't hurt, but it's going to feel really snug, like I said. It'll stay that way for a few moments while I listen. And then I'm going to start letting the air out. I'll continue to listen. And then I'll write down the results, okay? Right. So again, it's going to be kind of like a very firm grip on your arm. Uh, it shouldn't hurt though, so if it feels uncomfortable, please let me know. I'll do it on this side, and then I'll go ahead and do it on the other one, okay? Alright. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and take your arm. I'm not going to take it off, don't worry. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit here and wrap the cuff around your arm. Make sure I have a good fit. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to grab my stethoscope here so I can listen in. Where did I put it? Here we go. Okay. Alright, in a moment you're going to feel me inflating the cuff. Alright, here we go. deflate the cuff now. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna put the stethoscope down here and remove the cuff. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting the same results on this side. Here we go, once again, wrapping the cuff around your arm. There go. That looks good. Oh, sorry, I just gotta reach behind you and grab my stethoscope again. Go ahead and inflate. Okay. All right. And let's go ahead and deflate. Beautiful. Let me put this down. And remove the cuff. Beautiful. OK. 
Okay, let me put this away here. Very happy with everything I'm seeing so far. next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be examining your face. If you can go ahead and just stare straight ahead at me. You can relax your face, doesn't matter if you blink. Um, I am just going to be very carefully examining the structure of your face, different elements of your face, um, looking for general symmetry, of course. No one's face is perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I am just looking for anything unusual that wouldn't be explained by, you know, any known or existing conditions. So, let's see. Okay. Can you do me a favor and tilt your chin up just a little bit? Perfect. Okay. Can you look to the side this way just a little bit? other side, just a little bit. Very good. And now could you look down for me? Okay. Beautiful. Very happy with what I'm seeing. Now, and with the unexpected. I'm going to be giving you a series of instructions now, okay? Just some things to do with your face. Could you begin by raising your eyebrows up as high as you can? Just up. Try not to move the rest of your head. Just eyebrows up. Down. Good. Eyebrows up. Relax them. One more time. Eyebrows up, 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 and relax them. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to have to touch your eye or the area around your eye for this next, first on one side, then the other. Don't do it just yet, but what I'm going to have you do is gently close your eye. I'm going to place my fingers just below the bottom lid and on the top lid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open your eye and at that time, I'm going to ask you to squeeze your eyelid shut. I'm just kind of checking the muscles around your eye, okay? You don't lose points or, <laughs> or anything if I get it open. It's just to kind of check the strength, all right? So why don't you go ahead and close your eye. Very good. I'm going to place my fingers right here. And I'm going to press right there. Good. Okay, I'm going to squeeze your eyes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm going to try to open it and resist, resist, resist. Good. That was perfect. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so go ahead and close your right eye, please. Very good. Okay, I'm going to place my fingers right here in your top and bottom lid. Now, go ahead and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't let me try to open it. Don't let me try. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. That was perfect. You did great. Okay. Could you go ahead and smile for me? Big smile. Okay, relax your mouth. Another big smile. Relax your mouth. Okay. One more time. Big smile. And relax your mouth. Perfect. A plus. Can you puff out your cheeks for me? Like, good. Okay, you can relax. One more time, puff them out. Relax. And again, puff them out. Good. Okay, you can go ahead and relax your face. And one more. Can you give me a great big yawn? Just a big one. Okay, now you can go ahead and relax. One more time, 
big yawn. Perfect. All right. Okay. So next we're going to be doing some sensory tests. I have um, a almost sharp poking implement. I want to assure you that it's not sharp enough that it will actually hurt you. Um, it's just sharp enough. It's just sharp enough to uh, register as like a poke on your face, okay? So I'm going to be poking some different places on your face, okay? And when I do that, I'm going to let you know. No surprise, I'm going to let you know that I'm poking. And you just let me know if you feel it, okay? So I'll say poke. And as long as you feel that poke, even if it's just a little bit, you can say yes or feel it. You can lift your hand, whatever you want to do to indicate that you felt it, okay? Um, after that, I'm going to do something very similar, but with a more dull pressure instrument. After that, I'm going to take a cotton swab. I'm going to be softly brushing it over your face. Same thing. And then we'll do a slightly different cotton swab test after that one, okay? So, let's go ahead and get that first implement. Where did I put it? Here we go. Okay. So, see? It's just a comb with a little pick on it. Again, not sharp enough to hurt, I promise, okay? And I will not be doing it this hard on your face. I'm just showing you that uh, even if I do, no, it doesn't hurt. So, you can have your eyes open or closed. It's up to you, okay? I'm not trying to trick you or anything. Just want to make sure that you can feel it, okay? So, are you ready? Okay. So, again, I'm going to gently poke, poke, poke different parts of your face and you just say, yes, I can feel it, raise the finger, whatever you want to do, all right? Great, okay. So, starting here on your cheek, poke, 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 good. Other cheek, we're going to go ahead and poke, poke, poke. And move it over to sort of your uh, left temple here. Okay, so we're just gonna poke, poke, poke. Same thing on the other side, your right temple. We're gonna poke, poke, poke. Okay, you're doing great. I'm gonna go across your forehead now. Side of your nose, poke. Other side of your nose, poke. Upper lip area here, we're just gonna poke, poke. Can you feel that? Good. Chin, poke, poke. Okay, draw a line on the left side, poke, poke. A draw a line on the other side. Alright, how was that? Okay, put this down. Now, I have this right here. As you can see, it's also pointed, but it's much more dull on the end, okay? I think I'm actually going to use this wider part right here at the base. And it's going to be very similar to the last test we just did. Okay. So I'm going to be poke, poke, poking. Uh, so like gentle press. Okay. 
Okay, we'll say press this time just to mix it up. And you just indicate to me that you feel it, if you feel it, okay? So starting in your left cheek, I'm gonna press. As I cheat, press, press, press. Beautiful. Okay. Left temple, press, press. Right temple, press, press, press. Going across your forehead. side of your nose, press, right side, press, upper lip area, press, 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 chin, press, jawline, press, press, other side, press, press, good, great, okay. long stemmed uh, cotton swabs in here. Okay. Only need one to start. Okay. So this is going to be slightly different, but the same concept. I'm going to sweep it over an area of your face. And again, just indicate if you can feel it. Starting with your left cheek, I'm gonna sweep. Left cheek, sweep, sweep. Good. Left temple, sweep. Other side, sweep. Do a couple on your forehead, sweep, sweep. Down your nose. going to do for this part is that I am going to be touching you on random areas of your face, either with one or with two, and I just want you to let me know if you feel one or if you feel two of them, okay? They may be quite close together, they may be farther apart, there's no right or wrong answer, um, it can be quite difficult to feel two at the same time if they're close together, so don't worry about it that happens, it's pretty normal, okay? Just a little test. So I'm going to get right up in here and one or two. Touch. Okay? And touch. One or two. Okay. Touch. One or two. Touch. One or two. Touch. One or two. One or two. Touch. One or two. Touch. One or two. Beautiful. Alright, you did great. Let me put that away there. Take a few notes. Take a quick look up your nostrils and then into your mouth, okay? 
not sticking anything in there. I'm just going to shine a light up. So if you could just lift your chin up, I'm going to gently press the tip of your nose up so I can get a good look. Okay. Just going to take a look. Okay. Good. All right. Happy with what I'm seeing. Could you go ahead and open your mouth just nice and big? Ah. Bigger. Uh, all right. Great. Thank you very much. Hold on to that. I'm gonna need it a little bit. Um. Let's see. Uh, good. Good. Clear. And healthy. Okay. No. Grab my stethoscope from over here. What do you do? Very simple. Stick these in my ears here. I'm gonna take this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently press it to your chest in a few spots. I'm going to be asking you to take some deep breaths. I'm going to be listening to your lungs and to your heart. Uh, just take as deep a breath as is comfortable, okay? And then I'll move around back and do a few on your back as well, right? Okay. So, it's pretty warm. It shouldn't feel cold. I'm going to go ahead and press it to your chest right here, okay? You can take a nice deep breath for me in. Out. Good. In. Out. Beautiful. Again. In. And out. Okay, one more spot here. In. And out. Beautiful. Let's go around the back. Okay, I'm just gonna reach over here. You're gonna feel me loosening up the back of your gown here. Okay. You're gonna feel it on your back right here. Take a deep breath, please. In. Hold and out. Good. Gonna move it over here. Deep breath, please. In, hold and out. Good. Over here. Another deep breath, please. Just at your own pace is fine. Okay, one more. Deep breath, please. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away here. Take a few quick notes and then we'll move on to your visual acuity and eye exam. Okay. Clear, no congestion or other concerns. Right. So I have an eye chart right here that I'm gonna grab. Where's my pointer? using this thing. Okay. So I'm gonna hold this up. Very specific distance. Let's get it right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna ask you to focus right here on the chart. Uh, to begin with, look at it with both eyes open. I'm gonna be pointing to some different letters. You just let me know what you think they are as best you can, even if you have to guess. Uh, and then 
After that, we'll do it with one eye closed and with the other eye closed. But when we do the other eyes closed, you open. You get it, right? Okay. So, here we go. Can you please tell me? What's this one? Good. Right here. Right here. Beautiful. This one. What's this one right here? Okay. And this one? Alright. Can you tell me what this one here is? How about this one? Very good. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take this right here and hold it first over your right eye. Okay, we'll do it again. And then I'll ask you to switch it to your left eye, okay? So, this eye, then this one. Got it? Right. Here you go. I'm going to hand that to you. Okay. You can go ahead and hold it up over your right eye. Yep, just like that. Okay. And what's this? Good. Yeah. Alright. What's this one? This one? Okay. Skip down a little bit. Can you read this one here? How about this one? Okay. You can go ahead and switch sides. Beautiful. Thank you. What's this? And this? Tell me what this one right here is. Okay. How about this down here? Just for fun, can we read this one down here? Alright. I'm gonna put this on there. Take a few notes. again, and I'm going to have to get quite close for this one. Sorry to get like right up in your face, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this light, see, I'm going to shine it uh, into one eye and then into the other, okay? So, I may just gently touch your face right here, okay. while I look into your right eye, if you can just look straight ahead, please. Beautiful. Okay. Other side. Just look straight ahead. Gorgeous. Okay. You can blink a few times if you need to. Okay. So we're going to do it again. I'm just going to be looking at the opposite eye that I'm shining the light into this time. So I'm going to shine into your right eye. Try and look straight ahead. Okay. Good. Blink if you need to. into your left eye, look me into your right. Good. Alright. Okay. Direct. And consensual. going to be shining this in your eyes again. Uh, this time I'm just going to be trying to get a general look at the shape and health of your pupils and your eye in general. So if I can, I'm going to place my fingers right here under your right eye again. I'm going to shine the light in. Just try and look straight ahead. Good. Very good. Okay. Blink if you need to. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to shine a light right in here. Try to look straight ahead. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Would you kindly turn this over? Look at this, okay? Keep your eyes fixed on it. I'm going to move it away. 
Keep your eyes, your gaze fixed on the pen light here. Okay, I'm gonna bring it close to your face. Keep looking at it. Good, one more time. Keep your eyes on it. Bring it back in. Keep looking at it. Good. Okay. Accommodation. Now, I'm going to use my pointer. Oh no, what did I do with it? Here it is. So I'm using my pointer for this because I specifically want to make sure that you're looking right here. The very tip of the pointer, this dark spot here. Okay. So, I'm just going to be checking basically your eye muscles. I'm going to be moving this around to different spots, and I want you to follow the tip of it here, okay? I need to do it once for each side, so I'll be looking at your right eye to start, and then your left eye, okay? So go ahead, take a look. Follow it with your gaze. Good. Okay, down. And down again. Side, keep looking at it. Good. Okay. Bring it down. Keep looking at the tip of the pointer. Beautiful. You did great. You did great with all six cardinal positions. Okay. On both sides. We're moving on to the ear exam and hearing test portion of the exam. I'm going to take this otoscope right here. It lights up. I'm going to gently place the tip of the otoscope into your ear canal, okay? I'm going to take a nice look around, checking the ear canal itself, mostly checking the health of your tympanic membrane, and then I'll go around to the other side and check that side, okay? Um, it shouldn't be uncomfortable. Please let me know if it is. Okay? Great. So, starting on this side, let me get right in there and... Alright, and you're gonna feel the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Okay. We're looking good on this side. Scopes, I can get a nice close look at your tympanic membrane. Checking for any signs of infection or irritation, any lumps, bumps, any cloudiness, anything. We're looking really nice. Healthy ears. Okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the otoscope now. Okay. Same thing. Other side. Alright. I'm gonna have to get quite close so I can get a good look. I'll try not to breathe on you too hard. You're gonna feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Okay, good. Just 
headphones for you. Okay. I have these headphones right here. In a moment, I'm going to place them over your ears. Um, it'll muffle your hearing a little bit, but you should be able to still hear me okay. For the first test, you'll be hearing a series of tones. Some will be higher in pitch, some will be lower in pitch, some will be louder or quieter. All I need you to do is simply indicate when you hear one, okay? Doesn't matter if you hear it on the left or on the right, just if you hear a tone, you can say now or yes. You can raise a hand, raise a finger, just indicate that you've heard it, okay? Alright, so the place that Can you still hear me okay? Great. So, I'm gonna get it started in just a moment. Again, all you have to do is indicate in some way if you hear the tones. Alright? So, it should be starting right about now. Mm. Perfect. Great. Alright, so for the next part of the hearing exam, you're going to hear some spoken words in your ears, sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other. Um, for this one, I just need you to repeat out loud whatever word you hear. If you're not sure, just give me your best guess, okay? Alright, so again, we should be getting started right now. Kite. Puppy. Cup. Grape. Club. Paper. Cucumber. Pluck. 
beautiful. Now, I can go ahead and take those headphones off of here. So, next, uh, we just have a couple more things to do. I'm going to be placing my fingertips right onto your neck area, your face a little bit, and the back of your head. I'm just checking your lymphatic health a little bit. I'm going to be gently pressing and palpating these areas just to check the lymph nodes, the sinus areas, make sure everything seems clear and like everything's the right size and moving the way that it's supposed to be, okay? Okay. So I'm going to get right in here and I'm going to start your sinus area under your eyes along the side of your nose here. I'm just going to press, press, press. Good. And over the tops of your eyebrows here, I'm going to press, press, press. Just a little more deeply here in this area. Side. Okay. Good. Other side. Beautiful. Okay. Reaching up around, gonna get those lymph nodes in the very base of your skull here. Finally, for the last part of your exam, um, let me grab a chart real quick so I can show you. Very excited for another opportunity to use my pointer here. Okay, so see this chart right here. I'm gonna hold it out. So this is your spine. Okay, so as you can kind of see here, it's not actually different colors in real life. This is just showing the different sections your spine, okay? So at the very top here we've got your cervical vertebrae and that's in your neck area, okay? Next, going down we have your thoracic vertebrae and those are in your kind of upper trunk area. Finally down here we have your lumbar vertebrae for your lower back. As you can see there's some very specific um, alignment and curvature here, okay? So that's what I'm going to be checking for. I just want to make sure that everything is aligned and where it's supposed to be. Again, most people's spines are not perfectly aligned. Most people have a little, just a little bit of a curve or these little differences. I'm just looking for anything that is unusual or that we wouldn't be expecting based on your known health history, okay? Alright, so I'm going to step behind you, I'm going to be opening up your gown, and I am just going to be using my fingers to press, 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 each one on the way down, okay? And just because I'm behind you and I want you to know what I'm going to be doing, if you look right here, you can see that each of the cervical vertebrae are numbered, you know, C1, C2, C3, down to C7. Thoracic vertebrae, we have T1 all the way down through T12. And then your lumbar vertebrae, L1 through L5. Okay? You ready? Great. Put this down. And you stay right there. I'm just going to sneak around back. in here and open up the back of your gown. Down here. Okay. Beautiful. I have a great view of your back here. So I'm going to 
start right up here at the top, kind of just at the base of your skull. And in a moment, you're going to feel me press my fingers. I'm just going to be feeling for those knobby protrusions, the back of the spine here. I'm just going to firmly press and palpate each one, starting up here at uh, C1. And we'll work all the way down your lumbar, okay? So, starting here at the base of your skull, I'm going to press. Go down and press. gets us through your cervical vertebrae here in your neck. Gonna go down your thoracic vertebrae next and that'll take us most of the way down your back and then finally we'll finish up with your lumbar vertebrae down in your very lower back, okay? Okay, so starting right up here, your top thoracic vertebrae, T1, five more to get here at your very lower back, okay? So you're gonna feel my thumbs just gently pressing. One, two. Moving down, I'm gonna press. Down, press. Perfect. Everything feels and looks exactly like I wanted it to. Okay, let me adjust your gown for you. All right. I am really, really happy with everything I examined today. That's it. Thank you so much for coming in today for your checkup. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any issues or concerns moving forward, uh, please feel free to come in, let me know, we'll take a look at it, okay? Great. Well, I look forward to seeing you at your next exam. Uh, a lot of people do them annually, but honestly, I believe that you can't have too many physical exams. You want to come in every day? You're welcome to, okay? So, I've got all your notes right here, so at future visits, we can make sure that your results are consistent throughout. But, until the next time, I hope you feel great, I hope you do well, and I look forward to seeing you again whenever you're ready. Thank you.